Hello there. We are on the Shoshone River, the North Fork of the Shoshone River, in the Shoshone National Forest, which is right outside of Yellowstone National Park. And it's the beginning of November, and we thought we'd just take a stroll and see what was happening. Yay. As you can see, we've already had our first snowfall. We've had some very cold temperatures recently. So it's just a good time to check out what the mammals are doing and what the birds are doing at this time of year. Many of the smallest mammals have already gone into hibernation. Uh, the ungulates are on the move. They're starting to migrate to their winter grounds. And the bears are getting ready to go into hibernation themselves. So it's a fun time of year to be out right before the winter hits. We started our morning following a set of grizzly bear tracks. And when we looked closer, we noticed it wasn't just one bear, but rather a mother and a small cub that we were following. Grizzly bears in this part of Wyoming generally go into hibernation by late November. One of their, early, their primary food sources at this time of year is discarded gut piles from hunters. Many bears have clued into the fact that hunters can provide easy food, so it's pretty common to have grizzly and hunter interactions throughout hunting season. We found that this mama bear was more interested in eating rose hips and grass rather than gut piles. Unlike chipmunks and ground squirrels who hibernate throughout the winter, red squirrels stay active all winter long. They eat the seeds from all kinds of cones, including Douglas fir. In the fall, they stash them in middens so they have a readily available food source all winter long. These cones have been nipped off by a squirrel as it prepares to store them for winter. Another animal that was indulging on the Douglas fir cones was the Clark's nutcracker, who also takes the seeds and stores them in caches throughout its territory. The nutcrackers can make about 5,000 seed caches per year, and even three months later they remember the exact locations of those seeds about 90% of the time. These rub marks on this aspen are probably from an elk scraping his antlers. In this part of Wyoming, most of the elk spend their summers in Yellowstone National Park and then migrate to lower elevations around Cody each winter. It can be a long, tough journey for the elk as they avoid fences, predation, and hunters. This elk carcass that we found along the river might have been attacked by a bear. But this herd of females and young males seem to have made it safely off the mountain and are relaxing after their migration. We never did see that mama bear and the cub on our walk. It's always a thrill to see a grizzly bear in the wild, but I definitely prefer watching them from a good distance. Maybe next time. Thanks for listening.